Here in Chicago, though, it is a different story, specifically for ground transportation. They just are not on the same page right now. CBS 2's Marissa Parra is live to break that down for us, Marissa. Good morning, Mugo. Yeah, really depends on which company we're looking at here. Let's start first with the ones that say you're no longer required to wear masks on them. Uber and Amtrak both released statements at some point yesterday saying those masks are now optional. However, it is a very different story with other companies like CTA and Metra. As of now, you are required to keep the masks on. Both companies responded to us in a statement saying they're keeping their rules in place. And when we reached out for a little more clarification, like maybe what the consequences would be for passengers who decide to take their masks off. We haven't yet heard back. Our CBS News travel editor says he thinks that changing the rules is only a matter of time. I think what's next is they're going to just have to open the gates uh, and, and uh, basically eliminate the mask requirement. Now, given the last minute nature of everything as it unfolded yesterday, you can imagine messaging was a little bit chaotic, a little bit messy. Amtrak had quite literally put out on their Twitter that masks were still required one hour before they put out a statement saying masks are no longer required. So to keep an idea, if you want to uh, check out our website, cbschicago.com, we have a running list of where all of these companies stand right now when it comes to masks. Again, that is cbschicago.com. Reporting live from outside of Union Station, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News.